Okay, 3 part A um, asks us to sketch these two graphs on the same diagram to show that this function here, when they're equal to each other and it's been rearranged, so we've added the bx, we've taken away a, um, it has one real root. So, we just need to know what these two graphs look like. Um, x to the 5 looks similar to x to the 3. Um, I'm going to attempt to draw it a bit flatter in the middle. So that's my x to the 5. a minus bx, given that a and b are both positive, that's going to have a negative gradient and a positive y-intercept. So negative gradient, positive y-intercept will look like that. And you can see that the two lines do only intersect once here. So I'm just going to write down that there is one point of intersection. Whoops. So that means there'll be one root.